Hey y'all, by request, here is the story y'all asked for. All right, back in like 2012, was it 2012? Yeah, okay, it was 2012, perhaps 2011, not quite sure. It was some years ago. I go to a particular place in Burbank and I do karaoke quite a bit there. Or at least when I lived in LA, I did. So on the regular, a lot of people from uh, quite a few TV shows and B-class movies, if you will, were usually there, which was kind of cool. You get a moment to sing with them, interact with them, because hey, celebrities are humans. This particular night, though, wasn't prepared. There's only five people who I really want to meet when it comes to uh, women of prominence. That is Michelle Obama, Beyonce, Jada Pinkett Smith, Jill Scott, and believe it or not, Alicia Keys. Um, and I don't know why I said believe it or not. That sounds disrespectful. Moving on. So I go to karaoke with my usual crew and whatnot. We're getting our song list together. And most people who do karaoke, you already have a playlist in your phone or in your mind of some of your favorite, favorite songs that you know you can just rip and sound like you really know what you're doing. Well, one of my songs is Jill Scott's Is It The Way. Cool, I got it ready. I might as well add it to the list. While I'm going through sitting at the booth with some of my friends, one of our other good friends comes in and she waves and she waves with the lady who looks a lot like Jill Scott. And I'm like, dang, this woman probably get that like all the time. So they sit directly by us and I keep looking at the lady and she looks at me and grins a little bit. And I look again, I'm like, oh my God, like this woman probably hear this all the time. Her life is probably a shambles. She should just get paid to be a lookalike. So I get up to go turn my music in to the DJ and he looks at the list and he's like, okay, 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 whoa. I'm like, whoa, what? You really gonna sing Is It The Way? I'm like, well, yeah, that's, I feel like I'm in, a, in a, this kind of way feeling. What, what's wrong with that? He's like, most people don't sing the celebrity songs when they're here. What, huh, hmm, hmm? That's really, <laughs> no, that's not for real her. No, it's not. So then I like, I, I freeze a bit and I think about it. I'm like, you mean to tell me I've been sitting this close to this lady this whole time and it's really her? Nah, son, can't be. Can't be, cause her hair ain't right. Cause her hair ain't the way that it is. Well, Jill Scott wear wigs, so my dumb butt. But um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, fine. This is kind of cool. This is an opportunity to be able to meet her. And I'm not just, I'm not just a casual, I like her album fans. Like I am a fan of Miss Jill Scott. Her story, her, her whole purpose of being an artist and when she used to write for some of the magazines and how that all came to crumbling down as moments and all of that I'm I'm a fan so I walk over to her I say hi to our mutual friend and I look at her and I'm like I didn't think you were who you are I thought you were a look-alike and she said well yeah that's kind of the goal but you know thank you and I'm like well it's really nice to meet you and she said it's nice to meet you I'm thinking that's it I'm thinking that's it because why would she want to say anything else to me? Well, somebody else gets on stage and performs a song by her and it was Long Walk. And I mean, they sang the mess out of it because this woman really can sing. And Jill Scott gave her her praise or whatnot. And that was really dope. Then Jill Scott got on stage and she sang No Diggity by Blackstreet and did it her own way. And that's when the fangirl in me had to break out a little bit. So I was sitting there like, I was really, really excited, but I didn't want to look too excited, but I was real excited. Like my feet was like doing this underneath the table, but I was trying to look smooth. So eventually it gets to my song and I don't know what song it is. I give the, the guy a, a playlist and he always randomizes it. So when I see the name of the song on the screen, that's when I know what it's time to do. Well, it turns into, uh, God, it turns into some other song. I can't even remember, but I get off the stage. Then my good, 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 good singing mentor, and I can't even call him a friend because a friend keeps in touch with people much better than I do. And I'm really pissed poor at that. But I do follow him on Instagram. I'm sorry, on Facebook. His name is Eddie. Eddie is Tisha Campbell's cousin. So if you've seen her perform recently, he's usually on stage with her. So he gets up. Eddie can sing, okay? S-A-A-A-A-A-A-N-G sang, all right? He gets up and he has, is it the way? He's like, well, Ashley, I want you to sing background with me. Huh? Hmm? Fine. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're on the stage. She's getting ready to sing. I grab the microphone, and then Jill Scott gets up from her chair, comes on stage, grabs the same mic as me. Jesus be offense. She looks at me, and she's like, I'm going to sing the low part. You sing the high? What? Fine. I am on stage.
singing Jill Scott, Is It The Way, with Jill Scott, doing background vocals with Jill Scott. I am Jill Scotty with Jill Scott. I hear not. We sing the song. It sounds really good. And that's not because I was up there. It's just because she was there and we happened to be there with her in the presence and the magic of the gathering. She gets off stage. Everybody like applauds and whatnot. And then he picks me to sing Rihanna Umbrella right after that. I'm standing there holding the mic like, who the hell do you think I am? I go on the microphone. I'm like, hi, Mike. Excuse me. Uh, how am I supposed to sing after that? And she looks at me. She points at herself. She points at me again. And she points up at the ceiling saying, that's not magic. That's God. Baby, yes. I had three hours after that to just speak with her. And the things that she shared with me were just so phenomenal. And I'll never forget them. And I don't necessarily feel like I need to share those in the video. That was a moment for me as a fan. But, yeah. Crazy things do happen. You never know who you'll get to sing their own song with. So now, now that I've shared that with y'all and relived the magic, I had to pause the video for a moment and have a, a fangirl moment. Uh, I need to go back to packing. Bye, y'all.